Cheers and welcome, my friends. I'm Holotrak, and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the collectors. Welcome back. We're still waiting for the super strong endgame crisis um, while we're doing that, which is building up bit by bit. We just finished another habitat um, in the gentle mother system, which we're gonna settle pretty soon. I'm uh, also building a second one over here. I won't be able to build one because we have the science nexus over there. So that's a thing. Actually, I should take that away in the Orb system. Oh yeah, we're terraforming these planets in here. Hmm. That might have been a waste. That might have been a waste. I'm not sure. I mean, I could just stop these guys complete. from terraforming. I will get the money back. Construction complete. Construction complete. Right, production units are done. Uh, second Confederacy display psionic potential. Now, oh yeah, holy cow, we can upgrade all this. That's great. Let's just have the game run again. Oh no. Yeah, unpause. When I get there at some point. Upgrade all the things. I don't want the alarm to go away. We're investing a lot of minerals into building up these um, these places, but it's going to be worth it. Fully optimized ring worlds, but the best that you can do for resource generation. Some planet has been terraformed. Very nice. Okay, right. alert. This place is a machine world now. Complete. These guys are all gonna go. Star charts. I don't want that. What happened? Pop construction is done in the Orup habitat. I really gotta make sure that um, we fill this planet like instantly. As soon as it's colonized. We gotta do that. Um, otherwise we're gonna have all those synthetic pops um, flooding onto our planets. I really don't want that. It's gonna annoy me. Are you looking? Oh yeah, spaceport actually. We need to... Upgrade that spaceport. Hello. Still colonizing. Construction complete. Yeah, let's put the solar panels on these. Construction complete. So Construction that, complete. So that they're at least neutral in terms of costs. Spaceport finished its construction queue. Yeah, we've been building up the collectathon. Get the amount of Chrome Defenders in there up to a reasonable level. I think I want 50-50 for the high level ships. Mm, we've dropped really low in energy credits. Also um, significantly over our force limit now, 50%. The way to 2 million is still long. It's very long. Even those incremental updates um, for our fleet power aren't really helping all that much. I mean, 5% here or there. The Endgame Crisis has like, what, 150 or, or something? And we are at uh, levels of 10, I think, at the most. Um, interceptors 3, loader efficiency 3. High density munition five. Construction okay. complete. And then in terms of physics, flash coolant five. Complete. We are rather Technology high in the shield tech, like itself. ten, but still that's 150 of those. That's significant. Uh, more energy credits. I mean, more energy credits means more ships. Let's go for more shield hit points. Gotta try to stay in the fight. And more shield hit points do help with that. Hmm. Why did we drop in terms of ship hull points? <clears throat> Are these just older models? I don't think so, but we had some. 
Oh yeah, you. Right. You're just pushing that up because you are the Admiral with the unyielding trait. Okay. I understand. It's fine. Almost at a million. If I manage to squeeze another 30 into here, we're going to be at the million. Which is significant. I mean, a million fleet power... I actually did not think that we would reach that. And it's almost in time for the endgame crisis. Almost in time. Alright, I did not look up the meatbag smooches. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta do that in between the next episode. Hope that I can actually think about that. Oh man, you're totally wasting this planet. Fool. Well, let's build these service umbilicals. Where is it? Oh, we already have it. Right, okay. Um, you do not have the solar panel network, though, for some reason. Like That's a total no-brainer. Build the service umbilicals. Fool. Almost there for another habitat. I'm just building these inside core sector systems so that I don't have to give up anymore. I want to use these for ring worlds, if at all possible. I mean, if I were clever and I wouldn't mind the micromanagement, then I would probably give away the fully built up worlds and take the other worlds out of the sector, build them up, optimize them. I wonder what I could squeeze out if I did that. Hmm. Seven influence is, is pretty good. That gives us a, a new habitat every two years. That's not bad. Oh yeah, since we don't have any factions, that's kind of where we're where we're gonna stay. Servitor morale low only gives us 0.5. At least we're not wasting any production um, by keeping organic pops around. Slowly terraforming all these um, planets here too. I could also, I mean, I could theoretically just integrate these guys. That way, I don't have the 1200 influence. They are getting friendlier, I think. How are you guys? 951 now. We had 959. Considering that this can get up into the thousands, it's really weird that that would stick around for so long. It's very odd. Okay, that habitat is done with its surface construction queue. Actually, I gotta look through the habitats, I guess. How are you doing? You're completely fine, fine, fine. No, oh, you can be upgraded. That's great. You can be upgraded. Perfect. Gotta make sure that I actually catch that planet. 2411 at the 1st of June. Just a couple more days. Just gotta queue up enough robots. Planetary surface settlement established. Yeah, okay, that worked. Um, don't care about the alien pets, so we're gonna put the spare parts depot on this. And then build a pop. And uh, we're just gonna churn out collectors over here. All right, then. Um, and then buildings. Mine, mine. Lots of mines. Actually, I can't let the game run now. There's no risk anymore. Just filling the, th the, the things. Really looking forward to these optimized string walls. Bringing the minerals. I've already seen one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. One we gotta keep for the processing thing. Um, if you have a look at this. No, wait, where is it? We have a full production thing. This one. It's already putting out 240, and it's still not done. Construction complete. We're still building buildings on here, I think? No, the buildings are done, but we still don't have all the pops, so... This is real nice. Getting there, definitely. You are done. 
Oh yeah, we're colonizing the first habitat in Gentle Mother. We can now also build another one. Um, yeah, I guess we can get rid of you. Disband that station. We're gonna get that resource. Um, we're not gonna lose that. It doesn't matter. I mean, six research in the grand scale of things. Ah, right. I really gotta make sure that we get that back. You guys have probably been screaming at your screens. Come on. Game has to remind me of that kind of thing. It's very annoying. Hmm. Military fleets. Alright, I mean, this is not a full fleet as of yet. We have the 50 cruisers. We, st we don't have the corvettes. Like, I want to aim for 100 destroyers, 100 corvettes. And then 100 battleships, which gives us 300. And then 50 cruisers, which gives us... Um, 350, I think. These guys are at 50-50 now. So I would like to get 10 linked cruisers. So I guess we're going to do that. Um, spaceport. One, two... Construction one, complete. Two. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't really matter. One, two. Not you. One, two. One, two. That's five. Okay, we have another habitat in Gentle Mother. Let's colonize it. Um, yeah, let's use... Are we using coal? No, coal is in a sector, so that's fine. Um, hmm. Rent a Mario is probably the best for this. Don't care about the name. How far are we with the ring world over here in the Gamma Refuge? Yeah, a little less than three years. So 24, 14. And we still got this section, which we can fill out easily right now. Mm. Definitely boosting the amount of planets that we have like that. Um, how are the sectors looking for resources? Yeah, you are still out. I'm gonna give this sector a bunch. Yeah. Build me some nice pops. You really should be constructing pops and buildings like crazy. Planning to construct a machine. You're constructing machine pops? That's not a thing. <laughs> These guys have insulted me. Well, come at me, bro. I probably shouldn't be arrogant, but I have a million fleet power at my disposal. Um, by the way, yeah. Construction um, complete. Let's bring these mega war forms together. And then we're actually gonna have them follow this fleet. Those 20 mega war forms should be enough to take any planet, I think. I hope. Let's also make sure that Sildo is defended. Okay, that does it. Like five mega war forms are pretty good. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, right. We also have a new unit in here. I can build a spaceport. Let's do that. Just bring down the cost a little bit. Okay. A couple of planets have been transformed into machine worlds. That's good. That's going to increase the amount of stuff that we produce. Why? What? We are creating... What happened? Did I not set you... I, I guess I accidentally set this to build another research station. That's weird. Sorry about that. Construction complete. Derp. Construction complete. Okay, so these guys are going to get pushed off. 
Gotta make sure to fill gentle mother with, um, fill that habitat with robots. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, spaceports are done. Technological acquisition successful. Yay, more strikecraft damage. Oh, that has actually boosted the fleet power quite nicely. Uh, more ship hull points? Sure, why not? Making them tankier. Always a good idea. When it comes up, I want to take it. Do we have any idle ships? Like, these are transport fleets. Okay, they're all in the same system now. Complete. Merge them. Construction complete. Okay, you're gonna follow this fleet. Ah, oh, wait, no. I want you to merge. Now you're gonna follow that fleet. You don't need a, a general. They are useless anyways. Um, so we have two for this fleet, three for that fleet. I need four for the meatbag smooches. Okay, good. These guys could use a bunch of additional battleships, actually. Planetary surface settlement established. All right, so let's put down a spare parts depot and then fill everything with pops. Um, collector pops, I thought I wanted to make these energy not sure now, but yeah, let's let's get a couple of energy places in there. It's not a bad idea. Solar power, solar power, solar power. Okay, and that's done. Never got to think about that again. Great. Habitats are fire and forget. Mm -hmm. So we we have we're working on hull integrity eleven. So it's only like what, hundred and planetary settlement thirty nine tax to go, <laughs> and we're at the same level as the end game crisis. I'm just joking. We're never gonna get there. It's not a thing. These guys are just not building up a fleet. They're actually annoying me a little bit. Hmm. Tell you what. I have a hundred of each for ten years. Good luck. Really would like these to to upgrade their fleets a little bit. Oh, no! We just gave you a hundred minerals. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to give you a hundred monthly minerals. For 10 years. Alright, and you? I mean, you still have a fleet of sorts. Okay, okay. Instruments across the collectors have suddenly picked up a subspace power surge of massive proportions coming from somewhere within our galaxy. Our scientists are struggling to come up with an explanation for this event. Nothing of its like has ever been recorded. The exact origin point of this sudden power surge has yet to be identified, but we're still in the process of analyzing the available data. Is that... I think it's going to be the contingency. I think it is going to be the contingency. And it just gave away my minerals. That's probably not great. Oh! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not the contingency. Freaking hell. We are hosed! 
Yeah, these guys are opening their borders. How about we actually work together, dude? They are belligerent. They opened their borders to me, though. But, um... Yeah, okay. Okay, things have happened. Um... Things have happened. Let's have a look at their ships. Now, Vassal has unknown capabilities. It looks like we have the Unbidden. We're actually dealing with the Unbidden. Interesting. Okay. Do we have anyone else? Does anyone else have these guys? I don't think so. Well, I guess it's it's time to it's time to fight. Grand Fleet. Proved energy. Um, let's just go for more engineering to get those um, ship power points. We don't really don't need the influence all that much, but yeah. So they've spawned inside the city martyrs. I wonder where they're gonna go. I have just enough fleet power probably to fight one of their one of their guys down. Mm, what is best against these guys? Hmm. Need to initiate a special project in order to learn more about these beta aliens. Uh, why don't we do that then? Oh man! And they're inside my space! No! <laughs> yes, we have the Unbidden. Source of the massive power surge we detected earlier has been identified. It comes from some kind of gigantic subspace tear in the Algol system. Fleets of strange spacecraft are pouring out of this dimensional portal, and early sp uh, reports speak of indiscriminate attacks against everyone coming into contact with them. Hmm. We've intercepted a powerful signal being sent from the arriving vessels to somewhere on the other side of the portal. It sounds like a hunting call. A foreign entity has decrypted... Feeding ground reached. Prey bountiful. At long last, we shall feast. What are you? Mm, 1.3 million. Yeah. Can we pull stuff out of the sectors? I just gave away all my minerals. Which was not a good idea. Gotta pull all of it from there. Okay, Nolox has ended that. I tell you what. No, I cannot end the rivalry. I can end the rivalry to the Orassians, I think. Yes, sorry. It was a mistake. I take it back. Oh, wait. Yeah, over here. Sorry. It was a mistake. We're gonna get killed all. Very soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're actually at the end of an episode. That's interesting. All right, then. So I am going to think a little bit about the ship designs that we're going to use against the Unbidden. Um, we definitely need to tailor our ships properly for that. And probably also our fleets. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see if we can keep them down. The good thing is I have them close. The bad thing is they probably going to destroy my infrastructure. And they're not moving their big fleets out of there yet, um, which is going to be nasty. They only... No, they are using shields. They are using shields. Weapons damage plus 1,500%, shield hull points, shield hit points. Yeah. Annoying, but nothing I can do about it. And uh, if I can stop them from establishing themselves in the area, then uh, things are going to be good. <laughs> so, for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this, if you want to see me fight down the five times endgame crisis, then uh, please consider subscribing and join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.